Okay, so now let's talk about this uh, swing style, all right? So uh, what I've done now is in this comp and chords uh, swing style uh, uh, example here, I've added some rhythm to the chords. A couple of important things to notice though. The chord voicings are exactly the same as the ones we just did, the melody on top, okay? So exactly the same chord voicing. I changed nothing in the notes that I'm playing. The only thing that I'm changing is I'm changing the rhythm. Now, the reason that this is so important, I really wanna want you to focus on this, is that see how we break this down? See how methodical this is? So we start with a voicing. Get your voicing together. Because if, if you can't do the voicing, right, then the whole shooting match is gone right there. You gotta make sure that you can get that voicing together. Right, so now once you have the notes of your voicing, the notes of your chord together, now we could start to add some rhythm to it. And that's what we're doing, okay? So now, what rhythm do we add? You could add whatever rhythm you want. There is no one set rhythm. I mean, if you wanted to go, fly me to the moon and let me play amongst the stars. I mean, you could do that. It's a little bit kooky, all right? And it doesn't sound all that good, but you could do it. What I've noticed is 99, per, well, okay, maybe, maybe that's a little high, like nine times out of 10, students will comp too much. And what I mean is that, they, that there's too much rhythm going on. They don't allow uh, there to be natural points of rest, okay? So let me play this example and, and you'll see what I mean by natural points of rest. So if I did, da, 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 do, de, da, 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 so notice how there's like these natural points of rest, like the C, the F, the E7, the A minor. I'm just holding them out for whole notes, right? I don't have to constantly be playing stuff there, okay? Now, what I would suggest that you do is listen to the melody. And there's a little mistake that I, that I put in here for you, okay? I wanna see if you, could, if you could find it. So listen to the melody and listen for, all right, well, is there a point in this comping in which, well, gee, the melody does nothing and now, now the comping does nothing. It might be kinda nice if the comping did something else there. So let me play it again for you. Do you hear where it was? Okay, it's actually kind of in two places, right? So on that first C chord, which is kind of like one whole measure and it dies. Now, a lot of times students are asking me like, what do I do in that measure? Right, so what, what do I do to, to break up that chord? Well, first of all, you could keep the same notes. Uh, dee, da, 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 da. See, I mean, one, two, three, four, right? Doesn't have to be anything more complicated than that. I play the half note and then two quarter notes, but notice how I play them. I'm not going. I'm playing up. I'm just grabbing at them short and playing them staccato and soft. I'm not doing that, not too loud. So, hey, I could do that. What did I do? Went right back to my number two there. Try adding some motion. Okay? If I want to, uh, uh, D. Da, 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 da. Hey, I could do that, where I just kind of like uh, I'll roll that chord up hey, a couple of octaves. Okay. So again, the main thing to take away from this is don't change the notes of the voicing. Keep the notes of the voicing the same for right now. So get down notes for your voicings. You could go through your song, work out some good voicings, okay? Put the melody on top, okay? Get comfortable playing them, then start to add some rhythm to them, okay? So we haven't talked about half steps, we haven't talked about tritone subs, we haven't talked about two, five, one, we haven't talked about any of that. No reharmonization, okay? All we're doing is just get a voicing down and then add some rhythm to that voicing. 
okay? Super, super important because a lot of times we want to like skip over those steps. And we thought, oh, no, no, I want something, I want the next thing, and the next thing, the next thing. But guess what? If you don't have those steps together, then you're missing a huge foundational part of your playing, okay? So make sure that you can uh, get your voicings and then start to add some rhythms to them. The rhythm, real simple, you know, this is one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay? You can also try adding on some drum beat to it. One, two, three, four. Da, 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 do, boo, do, de, da, da, do, do, do. De, ba, da, da, boo, ba, da, da, de, da, 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 do, da, da, da. Okay, see how I can also do the chunka, chunka, chunka? So I can just simply do that. Da, 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 do. Two, three, four. We use this on gigs still, right? You'll you'll hear me use that on a gig uh, uh, on occasion because it's a great technique. So make sure that's another technique that you have. Just the four to the floor, chunk, 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 chunk. Make sure it's not. You know, you're not banging at this thing. It's just real. You're always in that accompaniment role. So make sure that you are supporting the person that you are uh, playing behind. Now this, again, could be a vocalist, uh, uh, you know, another instrumentalist, or somebody who's soloing. Okay? Don't forget that an accompaniment comping role also works when somebody is soloing. Okay? All right. So I'll see you in the next chapter. We'll talk about some ballad style.